Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Funding. Many have received it and many have not. Here is an update. Many individuals in the CNMI are still without jobs and without money due to the effects of COVID-19. And of those, there is still a large number patiently waiting on the pandemic unemployment assistance money. Congressman Gregorio Sablon says it's issues that keep occurring. It gives me absolutely no sense of pressure to continue to bring up the the problems our people are faced with under this uh, FPUC and under PUA. Um, I, people come in, they email, they call, they come in person about these, their situations. Um, you know, some of them are applied since April and have not received anything. It's always very difficult to get anything um, through by phone. But Department of Labor Secretary Vicky Benevente says they will be shutting down in-person services for 45 days to be completely devoted to addressing and fixing these issues. October 15 to November 30th, I'm going to close the office in the front and just handle uh, adjudications, um, processing all applications for any issues for the next 45 days from that date. But we will have our call center. It's already set up with 10 new telephone lines, landlines, and then um, some additional cell phone lines. Some of the issues we're facing today are the ACH rejections, that's uh, automatic or direct deposit to bank accounts. It could be anything minor in an address, a zip code is missing, a PO box error. Just those little things will not allow that paper check to be mailed out on a timely basis. So we've reverted to calling applicants, getting the correct information online or on the telephone line, and then having them come in and pick up the check from the Department of Labor when they are called. Benevente says $85 million has been dispersed since June in put of benefits in the CNMI. But while the amount of people applying remains high, the number of people deemed eligible is low. And that is due to errors in the application process. She gives us a breakdown of the past two weeks. For the week of September 20 to September 26, there were 540 applications received in our office, both online and paper applications. Out of the 540 applications that week, actually only 140 were deemed eligible. Complete documents, complete uh, information, uh, earnings were calculated correctly. And so for that week, a total of about $6.2 million were was dispersed to the 140 applicants. Now the next week, week of September 27 to October 3rd, which is just last week, we received 676 pool applications. And this is also including Rhoda, Tinian, Saipan. Out of the 676, only 144 applicants were deemed eligible. Now what's going to happen with the balance of the 532 applicants is that we have to go in and individually vet the system with the applicant as to why the portal is not pushing them forward. Is it an error in citizenship status? Is it an error with a question regarding their employment status or unemployment status? But for that week, a total of $4.8 million were dispersed to 144 eligible applicants. Benevente says a new batch of checks are getting prepared to be sent out later this week. We're estimating maybe about seven to eight million dollars this week um, for similar number of applicants who are eligible, correct applications, correct account numbers, all of that. So that's what we're estimating to go out for both PUA and FBC. But until all of those who qualify for PUA have been paid, Congressman Simplon says he will continue to voice his concern. So long as people come in here, uh, bring this issue to my attention, I will continue to make to say something about it. 